Morning. So I've come down here to the river before I go to work just to see if I can get a few shots. I've got the old fingerless gloves on, which are much needed in the winter. Ideal for photographers. You gotta keep your hands warm, that's the key. Keep your hands, feet and head warm and uh, you should be all right. The sun is very bright and it's ripping through all these uh, kind of urban buildings so it makes for interesting kind of light on building shots um, and I like the way it kind of emphasizes the graphics of the building and the shapes and patterns and it's always good to you know practice your framing up uh, when you're using buildings because obviously they're not moving so you've got plenty of ch time to consider what will work best in the, that particular photograph. I mean just looking at this pile of leaves here you can see how the, hard the light is you know the way it's ripping across the surface of the leaves so really emphasizing the textures. I quite dig how my shadow is turning out But look at the texture in these leaves, gorgeous. It's a kind of front on directional light, sort of thing you can set up in a studio. Just over the wall here, you got the uh, the awesome River Medway, and over there you got a castle. That was used. Uh, they got cannons over there that were used to fight off. I think it was the uh, the Danes uh, back in the day as they came down the uh, River Medway but the cannons went off too slow and all the ships went past I'm quite interested in that pocket of light just capturing that tower and I, I really like the the reflective material of that metal and the the overall design of the architecture it's got a nice texture to it, so we could draw that out in a photograph. Something like that, but I've only got 35mm on the camera, so I'll give it a shot. I could use this camera, but I've got my Olympus with me. And there's the boatyard with the block of flats in the background. I had to photograph wider than I probably might have done because of the lens I've got on the Olympus. I didn't bring the telephoto, but it's still quite an interesting shot. And it's always good to look out for the way the sun just clips the side of buildings. Nice the way the sun's ripping through that plastic. I always class that as uh, kind of urban photography. This is another shot that works really well where the light is uh, designing the shadows on the side. 
So these kinds of shots are not there all day, you know, because as soon as the sun moves, the shadows move, so you got to kind of work fast. The shadows on that bag and the lines and shapes really caught my eye. It's a great black and white photograph there. The bright blue sky, glorious morning. There's so much uh, talk of those chemtrails in the sky. So many theories going on. Is it a conspiracy theory? The fact they're running strange planes through the sky scattering these plumes of smoke what's your theory on it nice big leaf rich in texture, side lit from a hard sunlight kind of revealing all the little veins and patterns on the leaf some lovely colours as well in there again another good photograph, still life Okay, nice coffee. You know when you uh, find a coffee shop that you quite enjoy and you, you seem to go to it on a regular basis? Well, that's the place that I kind of go to because it's out of the way, it's not too crowded. And uh, you know, if I need to do some writing or sit on the laptop, then I tend to go there because uh, it's good for uh, you know putting your thinking cap on and getting some ideas going. I think it's good to get out, sit in a coffee shop and generate your ideas rather than just spending too much time at home otherwise you know the ideas tend to not be so free-flowing as when you're out and about having a coffee and also having a coffee kind of makes your mind a bit more lucid and uh, you can come up with some good thoughts and concepts for how you want to do your photography so now I'm going to my first customer. I did have another customer this morning, but they cancelled because they thought it was too cold. So I've got this one this afternoon. But uh, one's better than nothing. Onwards and upwards. Hello. So I've just arrived on the job. And uh, before I start, I'm going to have a bit of my homemade sandwich. Nothing special, just got a bit of cheese in. Mmm! Delicious! So the lady wants me to join up these existing slabs with some new slabs up to that sink. And it's got to be run flush with the top of that sink. And there's a bit of a slope running down from this slab to
to the sink. So I've got to dig some soil out, try and get it as even as possible and then lay the other slabs on in place. all spade work at the moment. Wow, these slabs weigh a ton. Okay, number two's gone in. Makes you wonder what they're doing to the sky. I mean, that's not normal, is it?